what is open close style play and what causes it? How do we do this? How do we accomplish it? Open close style play is opening and closing the glottis. Now, if we think of breathing, anytime we're breathing in or out on the harp, whether it be through our mouth or through our nose, our glottis is open because anytime we're able to breathe, the glottis is a part of of the larynx down in the vocal folds. And if we close it shut, we can't breathe through it. So anytime we're breathing either through our mouth or through our nose, our glottis is going to be open. Now, how do we close the glottis? If we think about the words better, butter, and bottle, the way us Americans say it, we say better, butter, better, butter, bottle. Um, if we say it with an exaggerated, stereotypical English accent, better, butter, bottle. Don't judge me because of my English impersonation. I'm not that good with it. But the most important part is the better butter ball. We're applying what's called a glottal stop. We're closing the our glottis. So we say better butter ball ball. Feel your throat ball when we say better butter ball. We are applying a glottal stop. We can do that same thing on the harp, like saying huh, 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 huh. and we can actually do that without vocalizing, just slamming your glottis shut. And just by closing our glottis, even without changing mouth shape, we can get a different tone. I'm going to breathe and then I'm going to close my glottis. <laughs> I'm not moving my tongue. I just the action of opening and closing the glottis. Now we can start, I would first advise you to start learning how to close your glottis. Play it open, play closed, play open. After we start knowing that we're opening and closing the glottis, start taking your tone up and then stepping it back down. Now it doesn't matter on your open tones whether you're breathing in or out, and we just want to make sure that we're closing every other time. Now after you practice this for a while, just playing open and getting closed. Make sure you're not closing your soft palate. We want to actually be closing down the glottis. And I'm not actually going to be vocalizing like I'm vocalizing there. I'm vocalizing just to emphasize the opening and closing of the glottis. But you can start moving your tongue up and down and adding it to your music. I'm breathing in, breathing out, and closing. I'm making these mouth shapes like I would be when I would be saying that, but I'm also closing the glottis. And we can just leave the glottis closed. A lot of fun can be had with this. Um, I'm playing it on, this is a Rajasthani style Morchang. This is a Gorka Talus. Let's hear what it sounds like doing some open close technique on, this is a shipping off, something very, very clear. I'm going up, I'm coming down, I'm opening, and I'm closing. Let's try this on a few different instruments. What I want you to do is just, if you haven't done open close before, just work on your getting it oh getting open, getting closed, getting open, getting closed. We want to make sure that the glottis is closing all the way and we're not closing the soft palate. We're just gonna experiment around. We're only four and a half minutes deep. We could spend another minute and a half on this. Let's try this on a mud hop. A lot of fun. If you when you if you're only playing open, and a lot of people only know about the open play because most people don't close the glottis. When we talk, we don't close it. When we play other instruments, we're talking open because it requires breath. 
So unless you're speaking with glottal stops. What else should I play here? Let's play... I'll grab a couple other instruments. Now, unless you're speaking with glottal stops, you probably don't know about the glottis style play. Now, once you begin to embrace open close style playing, it opens up almost twice as many tones on the harp because every mouth position gives you a separate tone when you're closing. Here it is on a Mohan bass. And you can do this. You can actually do open close on any instrument. I found the best results are on like Morchang, Munarp, some of the really clean Vargan, but even really, really saturated instruments. You can still get open close. You may not have quite the clarity you have on a Morchang or Munharp or some of the melodic Vargan or, or uh, Estonian Parmaple, but you can still get all that open close. And on my open close technique, I like to go up, I like to come down. And as you're doing your open close, you can find the subtlety. When you're doing open close, don't jump all around. Find the subtlety in small changes. I'm making small changes to my mouth and you can find subtlety by curling the back of your tongue and making really small changes in your technique and shape of your mouth because you're doing a lot of the work with your glottis. <laughs> I'm mixing, mixing out and in breaths with my glottal stops. Now you can start layering things on top of your open close. I like to do it like an open close style rhythm. And open close, um, if you pursue it, can eventually open up into melodic style play. But we're just doing open close kind of as a supplement to our rhythm. And we can start layering percussives on top of our open close. And when I'm playing open close, a lot of times I'm not plucking really fast. And you'll see Rajasthani players, it looks like they're, it sounds like they're playing extremely fast, but it's their glottis moves fast. Um, I find if I start playing the harp as fast as I can, the harp doesn't resonate as well because every time you hit it with your hand, it stops resonating for a split second. So I let my plucking style be slow to a medium pace, but my glottis and my breath be fast. <laughs> <laughs> See, the gl my glottis and my breath can move way faster than my hand can for me, personally. And we can start layering percussives on top of it. I'm doing some closing in there. I'm getting the close in there and I'm also getting the percussive. If you have a harp with really tight gaps, it helps because you have that little bit of resistance, what I call the back pressure of the harp to bounce against. It sounds like I'm plucking it really fast, but it's my technique that's fast. It's my open, close, my breath and my percussive. And also layer a huck, 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 because when we go huck, hip, 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 we're opening and closing our glass, but we can also emphasize that huck, 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 huck. I like to go huck, 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 that. That open close, huck, 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 huck. I'm doing out and in, open close, and then I'm slamming my glass shut, but I'm also gonna huck, 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 huck. Well, that's gonna be it for advanced jaw harp technique tech tutorial. I love y'all. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them old. Stay good to each other. Adios. Well, that's going to be it for advanced jaw harp tech. Blah, 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 blah. 
It's early in the morning here in Kansas. That's going to be it for advanced jaw harp technique tech tutorial. I love y'all. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Keep your harps clean. Keep them dry. Keep them old. Stay good to each other. Adios.